where would Professor Stanley Plotkin, who has won the Hampton Medical Award for research, and this time with regards to vaccinations, uh, welcome Professor Stanley. Thank you. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what you've done to win the award this year? Well, first of all, let me say that I appreciate receiving the award. I've worked on many different vaccines, uh, starting uh, when I was very young with polio vaccine, uh, but also more or less at the same time on uh, anthrax vaccine, which at that time had just been developed. Uh, then um, uh, after that, I began to work on uh, rabies, um, uh, developing new rabies vaccines. Uh, and then rubella, that is uh, the disease that causes congenital malformations when pregnant women are infected. Uh, and then after that, um, on um, um, chickenpox, on uh, rotavirus, which is a virus that causes uh, infants to have uh, diarrhea and dehydration and kills uh, thousands of infants in developing countries. Uh, more recently on a uh, uh, virus called cytomegalovirus, which also is a cause of congenital abnormalities, uh, but also is a major problem for transplantation of organs. It's a complication of organ transplantation. So, Professor um, Stanley, is there a vaccination that you haven't worked on? <laughs> well, yes, there are a few, but um, uh, of course the, the current major issue, as I'm sure your watchers realize, is uh, Ebola. And I've just come from a meeting in Washington where we were discussing the candidate Ebola vaccines and how to move them forward. Uh, I'm also the editor of the textbook of vaccines that is uh, now in its uh, sixth edition. And we're just now beginning the seventh edition. Um, and that's a book that covers all of the vaccines that have been developed and also most of the vaccines that are in the process of being developed. It sounds like this Hamdan Medical Award is very well deserved. Well, thank you. And uh, what, what does winning the award mean to you? Well, <laughs> um, obviously uh, I wouldn't be human if I didn't feel that uh, it was a uh, compliment to w what I've done and uh, now that I am towards the end of my career and looking back, I, I take a lot of satisfaction in uh, the results of my work. That is to say the, the thousands and perhaps even more uh, children, adults who uh, have survived because of vaccination. And so it's a great pleasure to be here and to receive the award. It's a pleasure to have you. Now you mentioned that you're coming to the end of your career. Is there any life left in you there to maybe winning this award to propel you to do some more good work? Oh yeah, I'm still working uh, full time. Fantastic. I, as long as I can keep going, I, I have many things on my list of things to do, many uh, different vaccines that I want to push forward. Yes, there's always more work to be done, and as long as I can do it, I will. Wonderful to hear. Mm -hmm. And do you think it's important that awards like the Hamdan Medical Award really do give people sort of a pat on the back and keep them going within their careers? Well, you know, I, I don't think that people who are represented here today um, work for the awards. Uh, I, I think rather it's the, the other side of it, that the awards recognize uh, effort and they make people, other people, aware of the hard work that goes into these discoveries. So yes, it's, it's fun for the people who get the awards, but I think the significance of the awards is that they tell the larger public 
that these efforts are being made and that there are people who are devoting themselves to, to these efforts. So again, it just promotes the good work that's taking place. Yes. And would you like to dedicate your award to anybody in particular? <laughs> well, of course, uh, I probably would dedicate it to my wife who's put up with, uh, with me uh, and uh, has um, allowed me to, to work uh, harder than perhaps she would like. Um, but I certainly appreciate her support. Uh, well, I, I would say to him directly that, uh, I, I, again, I think by creating this award, uh, he has, uh, in a way, codified and uh, typified uh, the, um, the, the thankfulness of people who are not uh, in medicine uh, for the research that moves medicine forward and, and permits all of us to have healthier lives. Wonderful. Thank you so much.